Terry, why do people want to lead? I mean, it often seems like it would be a very hard and ungrateful pursuit. Well, that's a, that's a great question. Why do people want to lead? Uh, I think because they kind of misunderstand what, uh, what that's going to require today. Often I would say that there is a double standard in our society, one for leaders and one for people that don't try to lead. And if you don't like that, then you shouldn't pursue this. Um, a friend of mine gave me a great metaphor about the person who wanted to be a bullfighter uh, and went into matador training in Spain. Um, and he was convinced that he wanted to be a bullfighter until he got into the ring and saw 2,000 pounds of bull bearing down on him and discovered that what he really wanted to do was to wear tight pants and hear the crowd roar. Uh, because once you get into the corner office, uh, then there's a bull there. And you have to realize that what's the calling that you have is quite different from the one that you had before you stepped into it. So I think that most people say they want to lead because they want to raise. Uh, and they want to go to the next level in the organization. They have no idea what's going to be required of them personally. Uh, they become a public figure. Uh, they become the, the uh, target for mistakes. Uh, they take responsibility for much more than they had taken before, and that includes the lives and aspirations of the people that are working for them. So it's, a, it's, a, it's really a unique pursuit. Uh, so the question that you asked was, uh, why would people want to do it? Because they're called. Because there's something they want to do. Uh, in life, and they're called to do it, and they and they are blessed with the capability of inspiring others to go along with them.